mix them with our fall group breeding day. Our water bowl problem continues. Our water pump or pressure switch. We don't know what it is. Uh, during the holidays, this sucker froze solid. And then we had problems with the pressure switch after that. Oh, that's going. Yeah? Yeah, you can hear it. Uh, we filled this place up with snow so it wouldn't blow through the door. But we had two heaters in there trying to get the pipes on thawed. And luckily, nothing broke. But uh, crazy winter we're having so far. We have to hook the trailer to the tractor because the truck wouldn't make it. We got to haul about five bulls maybe. Two at a time. All right, we're at the bull pen. Got to get two of them into the trailer here. It's pretty, uh, it's a pretty wide open uh, shoot here. Usually if they want to cooperate, they will. But my guesses are they're not gonna just walk into the trailer like Devin's hoping. I also just smashed my kneecap on the door latch of the tractor. I can barely put weight on it. So that's a nice uh, welcome back to work uh, event. Should have stayed home. All right, here's the 737. Oh no, that's second youngest. Five, three, four. Yeah, good bull. All our bulls are good. It appears the uh, the easiest tasks are usually the hardest because you put less amount of effort into it because you think it's going to go so well. That's my theory, anyways. So a simple task like rounding up five bulls. You just half-ass everything, and then, well, you end up working harder because you didn't set everything up properly. All right, guys, let's go. Get back in the trail. The crust is good enough, though. I can stand on it. Not for the bull, though. All right, back on track. Let's go, buddy. Keep those nuts out of the snow. I'm not going to be running after anything today. A knee like that. Keep it on the road too. Alright, this is the oldest, biggest bull. First one off. Go see the ladies. He's a hip wrecker. He's a little too big. Good for the big cows, but the small cows, he's no good. Just contemplating getting rid of him. He's got to mess up one more cow, and then we're getting rid of him, I think. Next is the uh, second, second oldest heifer bull. Pretty sure. They grow so quick, these things. We'll get him, big boy. All right, we loaded two more. We only got one left, the Hereford. These three stay here. They're loading up pretty easy. Our bulls are always good to work with. So these are the last uh, youngest heifer bull, 737. And the big boy up front. All right. Third one. Third one. Fourth one. Next is the Harry Ford. The Hereford. We call him Harry Ford. He's a little anxious, him. Hey, buddy. I think all Herefords are a little anxious. Especially when they're alone. Come on. Come on. Let's go. I'm gonna take some bulls with him. All right, move everybody. Let's go. 
Everybody, let's go. Come on. Stay together. There you go. As long as he thinks someone's following him. <laughs> Don't fucking spook him. Do your running. Let's go, boy. These guys are more calm. All right, all the boys are out and they're already doing their job. Sniffing out. We got a stag. We got a stag in that barn. He wants to play, but he's only missing. He's only got one nut, so he can't really play this game. As long as they don't slip and slide too much, we'll be all right. <laughs> 